it's me again, Jen. Welcome back to my channel. Today, mag walk through tayo kung paano i fill out ang form I-944, which is the Declaration of Self-Sufficiency. So this is the new form that the USCIS is requiring us to file with the uh, adjustment of status for the marriage-based visa. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so here you go. This is the form I-944 Declaration of Self-Sufficiency. USCIS uh, required us to file for our adjustment of status. This is the new form, guys. So, yeah, let's start right away. So, part one, information about you, your current legal name. So, put your current married name. Mine is Kiko Janeline Marion. So, U.S. mailing address is in care of name, my name, or street number and name, the city, the, the state. So, you need to put your state and your zip code. So, you need to put your zip code right there. And then the next one is alien registration number, your A number. So you can find your alien registration number in your NOAA 2. So NOAA 2 is the um, uh, the acceptance letter. Then number four is USCIS online account number, if any. If you don't have any, just leave it blank or put an A. Number five, date of birth. January 7, 1995. Number six, place of birth, the city, San Paolo, country of birth, Philippines, country of citizenship or nationality, Philippines. Okay. The next one is part two. In this part, you will be providing information about the individuals in your household. If you need additional space to complete any item number in this part, use the space provided in part 9 additional information. So part 9 guys has a extra space that you can put your additional information if it is not enough in here in this page. Okay, please see the instruction for who is included in your household if not already provided in your form I-485 provide evidence of your relationship to each individual such as a birth certificate or marriage certificate if you do not have enough of a relation to one or more members of the household please submit a signed statement from such household members or his or her legal guardian if applicable so it's just me and my husband so i put me and my husband so it's me first he called janeline marion date of birth relationship to you is self and then i put my alien registration number so does this individual live with you i put yes is this individual filing an application for an immigration benefit with you or has this individual already filed an application I put yes because I am the immig immigrant and then the letter B is my husband Kiko Parker John date of birth and then relationship to me is I am he is my spouse alien registration number he doesn't have any so I'll leave this one blank or put none does this individual live with you yes is this individual filing an application for an immigration benefit with you or has this individual already filed an application i did put no because he is the he is already the um, petitioner c and d we don't have any children so i put an a but if you do put your children right here letter e total number of household members including yourself so I put two part three you your and your household members assets resources and financial status in this part you will be providing information about your assets resources and financial status as well as the assets resources and financial status of all your households member 
If you need additional space to complete any item number in this part, use the space provided in part 9 additional information. So household income lists your, your and your household's members list that in part 2, total income from the most recent federal income tax returns if any. Okay, letter A, that would be me. So I put Kiko, Janeline, Marion. Did you or your household members whose income is being included or file a federal tax return? I put no because we just uh, got married this year, so 2020, and we haven't filed our tax yet together. So I put no. And then if you and your household member did not file, select the reason for not filing and provide an explanation. So I put not going to file and then my explanation is I am the new immigrant. That is your explanation guys. Simple as that. Letter B is my spouse. So I put Kiko Parker John. Did you or your household member whose income is being included or file a tax return? I put yes because he did in the year 2019 and put total income from tax return or item 1 on W2 wages tips other compensation so I put 30,000 so letter C I put NA because we don't have any children right there the number two question does any of the income from your or your household member federal tax returns come from an illegal activity or source such as proceeds from illegal gambling or illegal drug sales i put no because we never of course number three if you answered yes to item number two what amount of income from you and your household members federal tax returns is from an illegal activity so leave this blank if you put no does any of the income from your or your household members federal tax returns from come from a public benefits as listed in the instructions i put no because we aren't number five if you answered yes to item number four what about what amount of income from you and your household members federal tax returns is from public benefits as listed in the instruction so i'll leave that blank or put na because i put no and we didn't get any public benefit income so number six if you or your household members receive additional income on a continuing weekly monthly or annual basis during the most recent tax year and the income is not listed on the tax return provide the amount of additional income for example child support attach the evidence of the additional income in addition if you are child list any additional income or support available from your parents legal name or other individual providing at least 50 percent of your financial support that is not listed in their tax return so if you have like any additional income put it here like child support but if not put an a so that is until d so i don't have any so i i put na for all of it okay next question is any of the additional in income listed above from an illegal activity or source such as proceeds from illegal gambling or illegal drug sales i put no of course okay number eight if you answered yes to item number seven what amount of additional annual income listed above is from an illegal activity so i leave it blank or put na if you don't have any okay part three your and your household members assets resources and financial status your household's assets and resources for more information on what are considered assets and how you can demonstrate their value please see the form i944 instructions provide the amount of assets and resources available to you and your household members in the table below okay so put all your assets and the assets of your spouse so uh, I, I am putting mine here second one is my single name because i do have it this is just an example guys if you have an asset like savings bank account in your single name put it where it was named under 
but if it is name under your married name put it on your married name so that will be like an example then liabilities and debts provide a list of your liabilities and debts in the table below attach evidence showing these liabilities or debts so if you have mortgages card loans credit card debts educational related loans tax debts put everything on here okay then the next one credit report and score provide information about your credit score provide document as provided in the instruction do you have a u.s credit score i put no because we are new immigrants so put no provide a credit agency report that demonstrate that you do not have a credit score record so we will provide attach a credit a no credit score letter from the bureau of credit score three agencies and then number 12 do you have a u.s credit score of no if you answer yes enter a credit score within the last 12 and attach the credit score document but put no so i leave that blank if you have a negative credit score history or a low credit score in the united states reflected on your credit report provide an explanation for guidance on what constitutes negative credit score please see the instructions so i put i am new immigrant because we don't have credit score yet okay next will be have you ever filed for bankruptcy either in the united states or in foreign country i put no if you answer yes to item 14 provide information about each bankruptcy filing in item a to c so this is the item a to c put here if you have a bankrupt if you filed a bankruptcy but if you don't if you didn't file any just put an a okay next health insurance do you currently have health insurance i put no because we don't have any yet but if you put yes answer a b and c but if you put no proceed to letter d so this is letter d have you enrolled or will soon enroll in health insurance but your health coverage has not started yet so the choices are yes i am enrolled i will soon enroll and no so i put i will soon enroll because we will soon enroll in health insurance but if you answered yes attach a letter of other evidences from the insurance company showing that you have enrolled in or have a future enrollment date for health insurance and when your coverage begins if you receive federal funded medicaid please list those benefits in items number 15 and 16. if you answered no to item number 15 you may provide information on how you plan to pay for reasonably anticipated medical costs if you need extra space to complete this section use the space provided so put it here your explanation if it, it it will not gonna fit put it in part 9 additional information there's extra spaces there for you then next one is public benefits provide the requested information and submit documents as outlined in the instructions if you need additional space to complete any item number in this part use the space provided in part 9 additional information so it will be number 16 have you ever received or are currently certified to receive in the future any of the following public benefits so select all that apply okay so here you're gonna read this guys and if you have like one of this are applied to you put yes but if no like me I put no no I have not received any public benefits and no I am not certified to receive in the future any of the above public benefits so that was my answer because it doesn't apply to me number 17 have you disenrolled with drawn from or request to be disenrolled from the public benefits I put no and then expected date just leave it blank or put na okay part three so if you selected one or more public benefits in item number 16 provide information about the public benefits in the space below if you need additional space to complete any item number in this part use the space provided in part 9 additional information if a question does not apply please enter na so this one does not apply to me any of this i put an a 
okay number 19 if you answered yes to item number 16 do any of the following apply to you so I put no on number 16 that is number 16 that is number 16 so I put no doesn't apply to me so I leave it this blank all of it so number 20 have you received applied for or have been certified to receive federal funded Medicaid in connection with any of the following submit evidence as outlines in the instruction so none of the above applied to me number 21 provide the applicable dates so I left it blank or put NA then number 22 have you ever applied for any of the following public benefits and application is currently pending or was denied I put no because I didn't apply on any public benefits number 23 if you answered yes to item number 22 provide the following information so I put no on number 22 so I'll leave this blank okay part next it's still in the financial you and your household members assets resources and financial status did you apply for any of the above listed public benefits I didn't put any so I put NA did you withdraw your application before being certified to receive the public benefits I put no because I didn't apply have you applied for or received a fee waiver when applying for an immigration benefit from USCIS I put no if you answered yes to item number 26 right there provide the information below explain the circumstances that cause you to apply for fee waiver and if those circumstances have changed in part 9 additional information so a b and c doesn't apply to me that's why i put an a but if it does apply to you guys put all the information okay part 9 your educational skills do you have an approved form i4 i140 as an alien worker no but if you do put your receipt number here now uh, provide information about your educational skills and other related information if you need additional space to complete any item number in this part use the space provided in part 9 additional information number two have you graduated high school or earned high school di equivalent diploma yes list your educational history below include all degrees attained high school diploma college degrees or equivalent or etc if you answered no to item number two then list the highest grade completed provide documentation as provided that in the instruction so letter a is national university that's my college so i got bachelor's degree in hotel and restaurant management date started and date ended so credit hours hours of study completed i put an a because it's already bachelor's degree if no degree or certificate completed put an a because i don't have any then letter b is the book national high school degree or certificate and a field of study high school and then put your date started and date ended right there then your credit hours hours of study completed i put an a because it's high school c and d i put an a already because i don't have any more field of study so Number four, do you have any occupational skills? I put yes. If you answered yes to item number four, provide the information below. If you answered no, skip to item number five. So I put the certificate here, the CPR certificate, then the date of date you obtained, then who issued your license or certification. So May Obanya, and then license number. There's no license number because it's just a certificate. So I put an A then fire safety and then the date obtained then who issued it then license number and a because there's again there's no license number in a certificate c and letter c i put an a because i don't have any more then part for your educational skills provide the following information about your skill with english and any other language in item a to c 
So provide documents as provided in the, in the instructions. A to C, I put NA because it doesn't apply to me or I don't have any language um, skill, English language skill that's, that was certified or it was given as a certificate for me. So I put NA. Retirement. Are you currently retired? I put no. If you are retired, since when have you been retired? If you are retired, put your date of retirement here. Then if not, just leave it blank. Okay, number seven, are you the primary caregiver who is over the age of 18 for a child or an elderly, ill or disabled individual in your household? I put no, because I am not. Okay, part five. The clearance statement, contact information, and certification and signature. Note, read the penalty section of the form I-944 instruction before completing this section. You must file form I-944 while in the United States. So the clearance statement. Note, select the box of either item A or B in item number 1. If applicable, select box for item number 2. So I am the declarant. So the clearance statement regarding the interpreter. I can read and understand English and I have read and understand every question and instruction of this declara declaration and my answer to every question. That is my answer then. So leave B and number 2 blank because you are the declarants. Declarants contact information, put your contact information here, your telephone number your email address and your mobile number so just read carefully this guy I read all these instructions carefully before you put your signature and the date of your signature here so that's it guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like it comment down below if you have suggestions that you want me to do on my next video and please subscribe and hit that notification bell to notify you every time i uploaded a new video thank you so much guys see you next time